I love stories. I grew up with stories, and I think that's the, the thing that drives me. I just see stories that interest me, and I think they should interest other people. He is just so interested in what people have to say. He has a curiosity about them and their experience, and I think that that you know, certainly is his journalism uh, training, as well as just inherent curiosity. Fry seems to have an ever more acute sense of historical context. Fry doesn't just tell a great story, he tells a great story in the framework of what else was happening at the time. I grew up in Mobile from a fairly typical southern family. Uh, my father was a lawyer and a judge, my grandfather was a lawyer. My uncle was a lawyer, I was supposed to be one. My grandfather was a great storyteller and I loved stories. I grew up loving stories. One event that happened in high school was important to me. I had gone to Birmingham on a high school field trip and happened to be there uh, as Martin Luther King was arrested. It wasn't like it was an instant conversion to racial liberalism, but it did make me wonder what in the world was going on. Then uh, graduated from high school in Mobile, went to uh, UMS, University Military School, which was enough to convince me that I wasn't interested in the military. And then I went off to college. I got there the first year that first class of black undergraduates came to Vanderbilt. And uh, it was just something in the air and I knew that I wanted to know more about those kinds of issues. I met Robert Kennedy in 1968. He came to Vanderbilt on a presidential campaign stop had a chance to uh, introduce him to the audience and was really taken with him and intended to go to work for his campaign. Um, and, then, uh, and then he was killed uh, just as I was graduating. At the Charlotte Observer, when I first got there, uh, Charlotte was the national test case for busing to uh, integrate schools. I covered that. Later, uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker were making news from their Charlotte headquarters. and. Uh, I had a chance to write about them at some length. Um, I uh, was sent to cover the funeral of Elvis Presley. He is dead, by the way. I saw him in his casket. At the Observer, I also had a chance to do the first serious retrospective that I know of by a newspaper on Jimmy Carter and his presidency. Um, so I was there 18 years. It was a good time, a lot of uh, good stories. Billy Graham, it was his hometown, so I wrote about him some. So I really enjoyed my time there. My mother was about to turn 90, um, she, and I was an only child, and her health was failing. And so she was in Mobile, and that was one thing that brought us back. The other was the offer to be writer in residence at the University of South Alabama. Um, I had just completed uh, a book called Cradle of Freedom, which was about the civil rights movement in Alabama. And Clarence Moore, the chair of the history department, had read the book and I guess he liked it, and so he called and, and offered me the writer-in-residency job. It's vividly written. It brings this period to life. It makes the people real in a way that a more, a more conventional academic monograph might not be able to do. I think Cradle of Freedom is a sort of, you know, magisterial uh, narrative account of the civil rights movement in Alabama. I think that story's never been told better than in that book. I did win the Lillian Smith Award for Cradle of Freedom, and um, to, to win an award that carries her name was extremely uh, gratifying to me. Um, I think she was one of the bravest writers the South has ever produced. Fry has a natural curiosity. He has a sense of um, intellectual adventure. He is fearless because you know being fearless doesn't necessarily mean that you're willing to bungee jump off a bridge. It means that you're willing to walk up to strangers and um, get them comfortable with you, you know, to get them to tell you their story. He's able to really get inside the, the narrative and get inside the historical actors and let and he lets them speak he doesn't take over as a writer which sometimes happens it's sort of um, a, a real gift to be able to have the kind of respect for for his subjects and for his readers that um, brings everybody together um, you know on the same page 
Fry has been a really splendid teacher here at South, both for history students, English students, and others who've taken his classes. I have heard nothing but the most glowing kinds of reports. I have actually been in his classroom on a number of occasions and as an invited guest or to hear invited guests uh, who, who have come to speak to his class. And uh, he, uh, he has a following, he's had a following since the first semester here. For me there was a big difference in the way that Fry taught versus a more conventional history professor in that um, we were encouraged to look at our surroundings more. Maybe not look at books so much, but look more at Southern culture and the way that Southern media and literature pervades our culture and our environment. One of the very impressive things about Fry is the breadth of his publication accomplishment. Visit him down at Fowl River and you will see an entire wall at least the last time I was there, you know, with these beautiful sorts of book covers. I think that uh, his recollective piece about his family, about the big house, about his grandfather and that world that he grew up in is certainly a classic. I think his um, history of the civil rights movement in Alabama is deeply important, not only because it um, looks at the state and, and uh, recalls and shores up some of the stories that may well be forgotten, but because it has a narrative drive that is very uh, characteristic of Fry's work. Fry writes beautifully. Uh, he knows how to take any subject from the civil rights movement in Alabama to uh, cultural analysis of country music and write about it in a way that's, that's extremely expressive and strong. It takes a certain set of sensibilities, real talent, to use language the way he does uh, and carry a narrative forward the way he does and I don't know anyone who does that as well. And we're in a South that is uh, dramatically changing in a country that is evolving very rapidly too. You know I could look to Fry to uh, help us understand how we go from the 19th century to the 21st century, how um, a state like Alabama has um, been both famous and infamous. Alabama is a place rich in stories, I think. I've always thought that. I'm sure the stories will continue to un unfold. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a great place to be. It's home.